Yo you guys, welcome back to another video on Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we got a Michigan basketball post-game video. The Wolverines got back in the win column after a satisfying win and a blowout win against Maryland as they won it 83-64. to They improved to 8-7 and on the season and we looked very, very good and very energetic and played very good defense and we were hitting shots as well. Uh, from you know three-point range we were just playing all, all around good basketball last night against Maryland gonna be getting into everything in this one so make sure you guys watch the whole entire video if you guys are new around here I greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead hit that subscribe button and uh, other than that let's get right into today's video Alright, so obviously, this has definitely been one of our best games played this season. Michigan has had a tough stretch here. We lost three straight, and we finally won in the month of January. Um, our last win was way back in December. Uh, but, I mean, just going over the team stats here, you can just see the improvement, um, you know. Against Illinois, we played very good basketball. Um, our offense, the offense, could have done a little bit better. However, we were without Hunter Dickinson, who just dropped 21 points against Maryland. Um, so obviously, you know, not having your best player hurts you. Uh, but a lot of players stepped up. I mean, um, looking, we'll just start off with Michigan's uh, box score here. Musa Diabate had 14 points, six rebounds. Hunter Dickinson, 21 points, six, re uh, six rebounds, six assists. Eli Brooks with his seven points, four assists, two rebounds. How about Caleb Houston getting out of his slump as he has been struggling lately uh, but he you know made three three pointers in this one shot the ball very well he had 16 points one assist and four rebounds hopefully he can keep going and same with Devontae Jones he has been doing very good recently he had 12 points in this one with four assists and three rebounds and he had like what 17 points against Illinois as well so he's been doing good hopefully he keeps it up and how about Frankie Collins man it's such a good athletic guard he had six points with three assists. He just finds people open, man. And, and when he drives in, you can almost uh, count a bucket in. I mean, he's very aggressive and he is very, very good. Um, he made a crazy acrobatic layup um, against the Maryland defender. It was, he did a spin move, went to the rack, and then, uh, you know, put it up as a reverse layup. It was very, very good, very acrobatic uh, layup. And, and then he also had Eli Brooks lobbed it up to him. He almost uh, could have came down with the alley-oop dunk, uh, dunk if he didn't um, have trouble handling the ball. But he still got up there, handled it, and still made the layup. He is very athletic. Um, he's going to be very good in the future. I'm very excited to see him. He is very good, very talented, and you can definitely see it on the court. Terrence Williams, he had three, uh, excuse me, two rebounds. Um, Jaron Folds had his two points, and Jace Howard coming in, making a layup, and also a three-pointer at the end of the game there with five points. And you just look at the team stats. Michigan shot the ball 58.3% from fuel, for field goals, um, and they also had eight uh, three pointers on 20 attempts. Maryland shot the ball 48.1% for field goals and had six three pointers on 17 attempts. Michigan had five or five five for free throws. Maryland eight for 11. Then the rebounds we out re rebounded them by 12. Uh, we had 32 total rebounds. They had 20. We had 19 assists and they had 10. Uh, blocks we had three but the turnovers uh, we actually won the turnover battle we only had eight and that has definitely been a problem as well this season we had a lot of games where we were going um, above 10 digits above double digits in turnovers um, every game and we kept it down to single digits that's very good and hopefully we can keep doing that our offense definitely looked a lot better. So did our defense. Our defense has been playing very well. They played very well against Illinois and really kept us in that game all game long um, until like six minute mark or five minute mark. Then Illinois kind of came away there. But our defense has been playing very well. And when you have good defense, you can force turnovers. You get easy buckets, and it makes it so much easier on on you know yourself when you're playing offense, especially for these younger guys, man. Um, you know, when you get out to a lead, then you can play good defense and get stops. It makes it so much easier offensively because you know you have a good defense um, and you can stop them even if you don't get a score um, on, you know, your offensive possession. 
the offense is just looking very good right now. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Maryland's box score real quick. Then we'll continue talking about the game. Dante Scott had 19.6 rebounds. Uh, he played. He had a phenomenal game. Um, Wahab. Not sure if I said his name name right. Wahab. I, I'm not sure, but he had four points with one rebound, and then. Ayala had 22 points. It was really uh, Dante Scott, excuse me, Dante Scott and uh, Eric Ayala in this one for Maryland as they uh, really carried the load for Maryland. Then Martinez had two points. Russell had four points, um, and Reese had 10 points. That's really it. Marcus Dockery had two points. He came in at the very end there, though. Yeah, I mean, Hunter Dickinson had a phenomenal game. He played lights out with 21 points, and uh, he's really got to be really dominant. He also had six assists. He was the, you know, uh, he was a leader in, in points, the uh, tying leader for rebounds. He tied Musa Diabate with six rebounds, and he was a leader in assists with six. He led all, uh, all of those three stat lines in this one, so definitely, definitely, uh, did good in this one definitely the player of the game for Michigan but I mean it's just everybody looked very good if we can continue playing like this I mean we can definitely be good you know if Houston can hit shots Devontae Jones can step up and uh, do what he's doing um, Eli Brooks can come come in clutch sometimes and if Hunter Dickinson and Diabate keep uh, you know just dominating in the paint um, you know you also has, have Frankie Collins and Kobe Bufkin that can make plays I mean this team is talented they are just very young the future is definitely bright when they, you know, keep getting experience. The future next season um, and the year after are going to probably be one of your best years, I think. Just because this team is so young but also so talented, you can definitely see the talent starting to rise in them right now. Um, and they just played very well last night. But yeah, I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this game. What do you guys think about this team now? Um, how, how do they look? How do you guys think, you know, they will keep going in this season? Um, their next game right now is against Indiana on Sunday. Um, you know, I thought maybe they would maybe schedule the Michigan State or Purdue game. But uh, you, yeah, you also got to check Michigan State and Purdue's schedule. Hopefully they schedule those games, um, though, because... Those could definitely be two key uh, games for Michigan if, you know, both those games would just be huge wins if we could win it just for the, uh, you know, to make the NCAA tournament. So, yeah, our next game is against Indiana on Sunday at 12 p.m. Um, and then we also play Northwestern on Wednesday and then Michigan State on Saturday, January 29th. Mark your calendars for that one. That one's going to be a fun one. Um, and hopefully Michigan can be what they're eight and seven now. They'd be ten and seven. Uh, we should be ten and seven going into that game, uh, unless we schedule the remake of Michigan State and Purdue. Uh, but we'll see, you know, what happens with those games. But yeah, Michigan wins this one, it's eighty-three to sixty-four in a blowout fashion. Very good game, and they get back in the win column. I'm very uh, satisfied with the way they are playing right now, and hopefully they can keep it up and keep dominating teams. Next up is Indiana on Sunday. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. And I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.